Oh, don't worry. No, no, no. Oh, come fine. on. Oh, come on in. Oh, come. No, don't worry. Just come on in. You know, the, the sheer thing of, of just making marks with a brush with some coloured sticky stuff seems to me to be, you know, quite strange really. Um, on one scale, or on the other scale, of course, you know, it's magic and that's it. Like, you know. oh, this is one that's outside here. This is one of those old hedgerow things that was telling me about. Do you prefer working on big scale? Or do you yeah, I start? like it, yeah. I like it. Oh, it's hard, really. I tell you what, though, now as I'm getting a bit older, it's more physical, isn't it? Yeah. I used to get very frustrated when I was a student. I used to tack bits onto the, my painting, sort of nail another canvas onto the canvas I'm doing and add a piece on it. Mm. You know, God. Is there a reason you do that much colour? You use that much colour? Uh, yeah, just... because uh, I mean, it suddenly became apparent to me, like when I started at this time, that the palette was mine. You know, all mine. It doesn't belong to anybody else, you know, so it's all mine. I can do exactly what I bloody well like. Mm -hmm. I uh, thought I'd better join in with HR. And that was a really big turning point for me because instead of actually me going to get um, or approach galleries, they approached me then. Um, so that was nice. One of the best bits of work I ever did, I reckon, um, was a, a life drawing, of, and it, it actually took nine and a half minutes. And um, uh, not that I was timing it particularly, but I timed it afterwards because I couldn't remember doing it. But that one, yeah, was, I don't know, just a little bit more special then, you know? It's just the immediacy of it, you know? Um, it just looked okay, you know? <laughs> I've got a couple of new biggish bits, so I get them out and show yeah, you. Yeah, that'd be great. They're all in the toilet and all. So, how do you choose what scenes to paint? Well, literally in there, pretty well every box is full of photographs. I suppose I'm more interested in what I can get from the composition of the photograph. Um, even if I reverse things or take things out, whatever. Anyway. And I use that, and then I paint in the colours that I want to paint it in, you know. Ah, this one's going as well. There we go. I tend not to do that, which is stuff something in the middle of the picture, you yeah. know. But I thought, well, I, I must try it and see if I can get something from it. Mm. And, um, you know, I'm making sales that I am. I mean, uh, I sell. Well, this will probably be <coughs> about fourteen fifty, something like that. Yeah. Do you find it hard to price your work, or do you have sort of a way of doing it? Well, I try and treat it as though it's like you know a bit of building a brick wall type of thing, really. So I started off a lot lower, obviously. Um, there was a time there, something like that was about four hundred quid, like you know. We can go over to where that hedgerow is yeah, and have a look around there. Yeah. Do you walk here quite a lot? Yeah, two or three times a day I bring that mango around. Really? Uh, like I did a whole series of pictures just about that. Mm, that's lovely. You know, um, um, and with the sunset coming through it, mm. it was like, uh, well, it, you know, it doesn't appear to be anything really. But, you know, you could select anywhere you bloody want, really, and there are pictures everywhere, you know. And I tell you what, you know, you can get sucked in as well by sort of saying, oh, well, it's nice today and it's sunny and all the rest of it. I came out of here in November um, and it was absolutely shedding it down with rain. Yeah. And I tell you what, the blues and purples in here mm. was immense, you know. I looked back and I thought, Christ, it was incredible, the palette. This is the, these trees, they're, they're the old hedge, you know, that's what they are, but uh, they've gone up in the air a bit. How long have you been working on that one for? This one? Well, to be honest, I've destroyed it four times so far, and this is the final look, but um, 
I, I'm, uh, you know, when I get an opportunity, I really do like to take things to the nth degree and, and ruin them. You just might sort of come up with um, a different solution to the problem then, you know, um, because otherwise you're relying entirely on just what you know only too well rather than something you don't know when you're scared of. Like. Uh, last year I did uh, a lot of exhibitions and it really did work because you know, people get more used to seeing it then, obviously, and if you like, probably, you know, can look at it slightly differently, you know, if they go to two or three different shows. Mm -hmm. I went for some years before having a website because I knew the stuff wasn't good enough, you know. Uh, so I didn't bother with a website until I was three or four years down the line here, so it was about 2004. Like the general advice is is spend half a day on the computer and half a day painting. You know, mm. yeah. that's it's better spent doing that then yeah. than painting all the time, which I do. But mm. do you have a favourite painting out of your stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next one. That's uh, the favourite. 